Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have a pretty cool one for you guys. We're gonna be taking a look at Foci. So this product claims to be the first wearable that can boost your productivity, keep you focused, and even track your emotional states. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what we've got. So right when we open it up, we are greeted with a very big booklet. We even got a binding here. <laughs> that is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go through that. And then we've also got what appears to be the product itself, as well as a belt here. So let's go ahead and open these up and see what we've got. Let's start with the belt here. Take a look at it. And here it is. Clip face out, breathing signal boost belt. Okay, so this is to be worn with dresses or loose pants. And it looks kind of like if you've ever used one of those belly bands for a gun holster, it's kind of similar to that, it looks like. Yeah, it's just a lot thinner. Okay, so there that is. Let's go ahead and unbox the product now and see what we've got. Very premium package here, looks nice. And it looks like it just slides right out and there it is. Nothing else in the box as you guys can see. Go ahead and open this up. There it is. And it looks like we've also got another little booklet in here. And let's see what we've got. So this is just packaging. We can set that off to the side. And it looks like some very simple instructions. Basically get the app, activate it, pair it, and that's it. So this looks super simple. Let's go ahead and do it. So in here, in the back, we've got a USB-A to micro USB. It would be cool if that was USB-C, but maybe in the future. And then here we have the device itself. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that is tiny. Uh, is very small. This piece right here is metal, so it feels very premium. It's cool to the touch, so it shouldn't be you know abrasive when you're wearing it. It's gonna feel body temperature once you put it on. Here's an idea for the thickness, not very thick at all, and it kind of tapers off. So let's go ahead and pair it up and see what we got. All right, so it states that you have to have it plugged in to activate it, so let's go ahead and do that now. And it says for 30 minutes, but um, let's go ahead and see if it'll work without that. All right, and I signed up, and just like that, uh, I have got my device. So we'll just click on it here, and it's buzzing a little bit. There we go. Update required, place device right next to the phone, do not close, blah, 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 very simple. So let's go ahead and do that update real quick and we'll be right back. All right, so now it wants some information about me. Male, let's say, I don't know how tall I am in centimeters. I think it's 180, 182, I don't know. My weight is probably, let's say 72 kilograms, I'm not sure. It'd be cool if this was in uh, Freedom Units for America <laughs> instead of uh, metric here, but that's fine. Uh, so date of birth, just do 95, go through here. Cool, so it's gonna be machine learning here. Uh, so I'm going to put it on real quick and let's see if it notices anything. I have got it all set up now and it is connected to my pants, basically uh, touching my body a little bit. And it says it's calibrating the breathing pattern, but I don't know if right now is the best time for it to be doing that because I've been running all over the studio, but we'll let it do its thing. Let's check out the app while we're here. Looks like it's gonna give us some great information once we actually get using it. So it's probably gonna have to calibrate a little bit and uh, here we go, device settings. We can change the name of it, it looks like, um, but we'll just leave it for now. Firmware update, we already checked, so we're good there. Vibration setting, looks like you can change it to on or off, the intensity to high, medium, or low. Whoa, that is weird. <laughs> it vibrated and scared the crap out of me. I was not expecting that. Um, okay, so then we've got distraction alert settings, but it looks like I can't do this until machine learning is done, so we'll have to wait for that. I'm gonna be wearing this all week and testing it out and you know seeing how it goes. Machine learning is on, and uh, looks like we got auto off. We've got prevent false breathing signal. Cool, looks like you can also reset it if you think it messed up, um, but that is really cool. So let's go to vibrate. Oh gosh, that actually does vibrate it. All right, that's weird. That's such a weird sensation to have something vibrate on your hip. Okay, so let's see what this button does deep work here. It looks like basically I should do this if I want to you know, get into a deep work session. I switch to Pomodoro mode. That's kind of cool. Let's see what that does. Okay, so you s choose your own uh, minutes, which I think Pomodoro is usually 20 or 25 minutes. Um, and then I can't switch swipe up here, I don't think, or can I? Okay, I can. Not enough data yet though, because again, I just started wearing it. Looks like I can switch right and left, focus biofeedback, see what that is. Okay, nothing yet. So basically I just have to wear this more and then I'll be able to give you guys a better idea because right now there's just not much in it um, just because I just put it on. So it needs to learn a little bit about me. So it looks like you're supposed to take it off when you sleep, when you talk and when you exercise, like if you're gonna be in a long conversation or when you're going for a run. So pretty basic stuff here uh, that looks like for the machine learning. So it looks like it's doing something here. This little blob is kind of changing a little bit. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the video here and I will come back to you guys in about a week or so uh, after I've been using it and let you guys know what I think of it. So, so far for the actual device itself on my hip, um, I really can't feel it. I was a little worried this was gonna be like kind of like a gun holster, you know, like those are super uncomfortable, uh, but I literally, I don't feel this at all. 
um, and I've actually got it clipped onto my boxers. But so far, this is not an inconvenience at all. I was worried that this was gonna be super uncomfortable and I wasn't gonna like it, but I really can't feel it at all. Like I'm moving around back here, can't feel a thing. So it's almost like it's not there. So enough with the rambling, I'll come back to you guys in a week. Peace. All right, guys, so we are back after, I don't know if it's been one week or two weeks, uh, but we are back after using this foci every single day. Uh, I've just clip it on the inside of my boxers. So this part is up against my skin right here. And this part is outward facing kind of, I guess at the 11 o'clock position or 1130 position on my waist, because that's what works best for me. Your mileage may vary if you wear your pants like Urkel up way higher than your uh, boxers, or if you sag your pants a little, uh, you might have to put it on your boxers like I did. As long as this is touching the skin, I don't think it matters. So this piece is all very soft plastic. So when you put it on in the morning, when it's cold, it doesn't like shock you or anything. Uh, if you put this part on, obviously metal is super cold in the morning to the touch. So that might feel kind of jarring a little bit when you put it on, but it, it doesn't because this part is all plastic. So it touches you and it's not super cold or uncomfortable. So I love that about it. So I was a little worried about that at first, um, but it gets up to body temperature within like 10 seconds. So uh, it feels fine. On the bottom here, you've got your charging port, just a very basic clip with very minimal branding right there, just as foci. Uh, so I'm gonna set that back down and let's talk about the app. I don't keep Bluetooth on on my phone all the time because uh, it emits a lot of radio frequency on iPhones and I don't need that beaming through my body constantly. So I turn off Bluetooth all the time, um, but for this to sync up, it does need to be on so it can sync it all up. I didn't notice any issues with um, me keeping Bluetooth off. Um, it seemed to be just fine with kind of storing the data a little bit on here and then syncing it over later. So as I was using it throughout the day, if I opened the app, if I took a deep breath, you could kind of see this little ball here move up and down with my breathing. At first I thought it was random, but I'm pretty sure that that syncs up to however you're breathing currently. So that's kind of cool. Uh, then you got deep work and focus boost. I did not use either of these, um, but if you click on it, you guys can see right here and switch to Pomodoro mode. Here we've got focus biofeedback and swiping between these is not the best because you can accidentally hit this. Um, but as you guys can see, then you've also got this tab, which kind of shows you five negative uh, feedback loops, which it kind of goes over a little bit in this book, but there's no real instruction manual. So I was a little confused with this at first, but you really do have to kind of look through this to kind of understand it, even though this is also a little bit of a journal. Those are the five loops right there. I'm usually stuck over here, according to this thing. That's because I'm always problem solving for many of my different jobs that I do. So I'm gonna pause this right here, uh, end it, and uh, turning that off. So one thing I have to mention, the vibration on this used to scare the shit out of me. Like the first time that this thing vibrated, it was super uncomfortable because you just don't expect something vibrating on your hip like that. Um, and it kept doing it. So I had to turn vibration completely off for this thing. I just couldn't deal with it. So it was just too uncomfortable and weird. It's not like it hurt or anything, but it was just uncomfortable and just a little jarring. So I turned that off. You can turn it off in the settings. But yeah, in the settings here, it's very simple to go through. You can rename it. Um, I've got machine learning on. I turned vibration completely off, like I said. Firmware updates, battery is at 8%. You can add friends, and that's about it for here. I guess you could get messages, but I didn't get any. So let's just take a look at, uh, I don't know if this is, I guess this is today. So I went to bed around midnight because I had it on then, uh, and then at 10 a.m. I put it back on. I don't fully remember what I was doing here, but apparently fatigue and tense. Let's go back a week. Uh, let's just go to Monday here. Uh, so Monday, actually, let's go to Wednesday. So I think on Wednesday, yeah, this has some pretty good data here. Um, so if you tap these, you can kind of see how long they were. So you guys can see here on Wednesday, the 11th, um, I had fatigue at 3 p.m. focus, um, and you can tap on these to see what time exactly that was and for how long it lasted. That's kind of cool to kind of drill down and see uh, kind of what was going on. You guys can see I was pretty focused at seven o'clock. <laughs> I was probably uh, watching YouTube or something. So yeah, it's definitely interesting to see. So like this shows uh, versus yesterday. Uh, so you guys can kind of see your progress. So I was pretty focused uh, in the day on Thursday because, well, I was pretty busy on Thursday if I remember correctly. But yeah, and by the end of the day, I was pretty fatigued because I was actually doing a ton of uh, physical labor on Thursday. So it seems to be pretty dang accurate. And I've noticed I average about two to three hours of deep focus time per day. I don't know if that's good or bad, uh, but it is what it is. So that's kind of how I've used this. Everyone's different. It is cool to kind of just swipe up from the bottom here and see which negative loop you're in. I never saw it change too much. It was usually just over here. So yeah, those have been my thoughts on the Foci. So let's summarize my time with the Foci. Um, the device itself, I don't notice very many flaws with. Uh, it's pretty comfortable. It does leave some marks on your skin after a long time of use. A little aggravating, but it doesn't hurt or anything. Uh, it's just a mark on your skin that goes away after an hour or so just because it's pressing against your body. So no big deal there. Like I said, it's lightweight. It's not jarringly cold or anything. It's a nice soft touch plastic. Um, the only thing that I can really say about the device itself is I wish it had a little more battery. So in the past week or two, I've had to charge it 
uh, quite a few times. And as you guys can see, it's low again. So that's one of the few things about the device that I didn't like um, was the battery life. So maybe in a future version, it'll get better. But right now it's not a huge deal. Just plug it in for an hour or so and it charges right back up. Only two other critiques I'd give. And one of them is um, just making the app a little easier to use uh, or to understand, I should say. Um, because some of the menus just don't make sense, like having these two buttons here and having to go up here just to see your weekly view. I wish it was more of a typical menu system or something in place to make it a little easier. Also, another thing I just thought of, uh, when this thing's low battery, when taking it off at night, if it could detect when you're taking it off, if it could like flash a little bit when it's at like 25% battery, that would be good so that the user could plug it in and know, uh, because the only way to know it's low battery is to uh, open the app when Bluetooth's on. So maybe there's something with vibration that I turned off that it does. Yeah, I only noticed it when I uh, checked the app. And lastly, if they just included a little pamphlet or something with a uh, better explanation of the features, that would be good as well. It does take a little bit of a learning curve to kind of figure out what this does. Hopefully this video has actually helped you guys kind of understand it a little if you got one or if you are looking to get one. Um, it is pretty interesting to see all of your different focus times, fatigue times. And this is all based off of breathing patterns as far as I know. Uh, they might have other things in there but uh, yeah, last Sunday I was really vibing, I guess. Yeah, this is the Foci. If you want one, check it out. Links down below. It can help you get a better grasp on your distractions and stuff like that. If this, if I had this while I was in high school, uh, it probably would have helped me a lot. At least to just kind of go back and look, see how I was doing because I was pretty distracted in high school. But now I just work a job, so I'm pretty much tuned into that all day because, hey, got to make that money. That's all I got for this one, guys. If you liked it, hit with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.